Hey guys. So got a case. It's gonna be in the title. Um, the only reason I bought this, and I, maybe the only reason, is because I saw a what's in the case on YouTube that Jennifer Beretta put on, and she's hot, so I bought the case that she had. I thought it looked kind of good, and I only have, you know, 50 cases, so I, clearly I needed another case. And then, since then, I've seen a little bit more about it. I saw a YouTube video that uh, John Barton of JB Cases put out about this case, and kind of looked... Yeah, not very good. And so that's what I'm expecting. So I'm not I'm not going to be disappointed by this. I'll just use this for storage and that'll be fine. But it's an unboxing anyway. You guys can see the box. I don't think you can. So this is going to be a Predator Urbane case. I think I bought a two a two by four. I think I, that's what I bought. I'm not sure. Okay, here's a box. So it comes in the, I guess the airline shipping bag. I think that's what I decided these are for. So they don't get all scuffed up by baggage handlers and such. It's just a, uh, some kind of a, not like a nylon mesh, big plastic or big bag. So inside here is a plastic bag holding the actual case. Um, I don't want to remember what I bought. I think I bought gray. Now I guess it, this counts as gray. It's a darker gray than I thought. Kitties don't get to play with this because this is a suffocation hazard. So, it's a uh, it looks like like a tweed or something. It's a dark, a dark gray type of material. And what's kind of funny is, well, you guys, if you watch any of my other uh, unboxings, especially case unboxings, you probably heard me talk about logos. And I have a theory, which has not been proven wrong yet, that the bigger and more obnoxious a logo is, the less of a quality product it is. So, I, this is what's on the Predator site. This is this. I don't know if I'd call it classy, but it's nice and non-obtrusive and everything. What they don't bother to show, and they show several pictures of the case on their site, they don't bother to show this bullshit. Because... It's gross. And this screams out, hey, I'm a low quality product. But look, it's a status symbol. It's a predator. This is what I think. It's not just predator that does this. They're just one of the many companies that do it. I had originally thought that this was going to be a soft case, a completely soft case. Because, again, they didn't show this bullshit in the pictures. This is, this is, that's a much harder material. And I'm not a big fan of soft cases because I don't like the rigidity of a case being dependent on the cue being in it. I, I like the case to be able to uh, provide some rigidity by itself. So, on that note, it, it, it's a good thing that this is not a completely soft case. And I don't know anything about it. I know in the video I saw that Jennifer Beretta put on, it had like this huge storage pouch. And that's going to be this front part here. It's got little clippy things. That probably can't be undone with one hand. Or maybe with 
any number of hands i got with one okay and then there's that so this here this whole deal right here is like just storage and i was curious about what it looks like inside it's going to have compartments and pockets and stuff it's got Well, it's split into two two sections. It's got this thing. It's got a a, uh, a mesh pouch here with a zipper. It's got something here for very small stuff, probably just chalk or whatever. It's got another mesh thing. It's got a place for uh, like a jump cue butt. Shaft. It's got plenty of compartments. If this is all one big giant thing, I remember thinking you could put like a small Korean prostitute in this case. In this case, I don't have any of those, but if I ever got one, then I would have a case for it. But it's got it's got a handle on the side. It does not have a handle on the top. It's one of the things I really like is having the handle on the top. So I. I can just carry it just like that. Just walking from, you know, where, wherever to my, my match. It's also got you know, the single backpack strap, which I'm sure is fine. Everything is very well padded and, and everything. Inside the actual case part, and there's no way in hell you're going to be able to see any of this. I'm going to turn on my light on my camera and you're still not going to be able to see this uh, so there's two butts four shafts it's actually this looks like the same configuration made it's storage the the two butts go on the outside and the four shafts go in the middle it is it feels like it's padded fairly decently, but in the video that I saw that John Barton put on, now maybe he had an older model or whatever, I think the one he was talking about was a 3x5, not a 3x4, but like the, the really decent padding only went down about this far, and then after this it was just really crap thin nylon. I don't know. I, I, think, the, I think the case looks nice. I think the big giant storage thing looks weird. Like, I don't know what, how much crap you'd have to have, how many gloves, for example, things like that, to be able to utilize all this stuff. But you have the space, and there's a compartment for a lot of different things. I will always be less than thrilled with big giant ass logos and I'm not even that thrilled with this having this hard it's almost like a hard rubbery material having it like exposed everything else is is wrapped in this fabric it looks nice and all that and then there's this this and I'm not sure why they do that because they have to have a place for the big giant ass logo I guess One of the other reasons I bought this, besides the hot girl that, that did the video about it, is that my It's George case is a nice case, and I like it. It's just a little bit heavy, and it does cut into my shoulder a little bit after you know several hours of walking around with it like that. It does start to cut into my shoulder. Uh, a softer case won't do that. This one I don't think would. It's it feels like it's padded very well and all that. But as I've, I've said before, Predator doesn't pay me enough to sponsor their shit with the big giant ass logo. They don't. Predator does not pay me at all. Nobody pays me at all. Yeah, some kind of a gray tweed type of material. I'm just going to weigh it if I can find the scale. And I'm just going to weigh it, weigh it empty. 
and we'll see where that is. If anybody really gives a shit, which I doubt. So completely empty. Let me get it off the table. Looks like 57.6 ounces. And it, it does feel, it does feel uh, pretty light, especially compared to my H. George. And I'm sure it's perfectly usable. You know, if I had not seen the video from John Barton talking about how crappy the padding was once I got down, down inside here, then I'm like, yeah, this is a great case. But I did see that video. And I don't think it's a great case anymore, just for that reason. And also, did I mention the big giant ass logo that I am less than thrilled with? But you know, there we go. I I have so many damn cases, but have so many cues and shafts and stuff that I don't have I don't have room. So that will just be used for storage. I have some of my other, some of my cues and some of my extra shafts, and I don't know, maybe. Yeah, so dinner almost said maybe I'll take it out in public someday. I can't really see that happening, you know, actually, because of the big giant ass logo that I mentioned. That. All right, thanks, guys.